What's up guys? Welcome back again to Jay Black TV and for today ay meron naman po tayong bagong video na isi-share sa inyo. So ano pang hinihintay natin mga boss? Before tayo mag-continue sa ating video topic of the day ay mag-i-intro muna ako. So ano pang hinihintay natin? Let's roll intro! And we're back po sa ating video topic of the day. So, i-reveal na natin ang ating video topic na isi-share sa inyo. So, this is the 7 alternatives of YouTube for watching videos online. So, uh, kita nyo naman last na meron akong in-upload or may premiere tayo regarding on sa... Six alternatives no naman sa YouTube vents na sinatdaw na nga ni Google. For today naman po, i-share naman po natin sa inyo ay itong seven alternatives to YouTube for watching video. So, kung hindi nyo type si YT ay, or for example lang naman is kung nakadown po si YouTube po, ay uh, seven alternatives to YouTube po. For example po, i-down si YouTube or dun sa ibang areas kasi baka nakaba na si YT. Pero naman sana kasi hindi, dito lang tayo nagsishare ng ating mga content na makakatulong po sa inyong pang-araw-araw dyan. So, meron tayong 7. So, let's start sa number 1 na po mga boss. So, ito po ang daily motion. So, ang daily motion po ay has been around almost as long as YT or YouTube na started in Paris, France in 2025. So, magkasing edad lang sila ni YT at napapansin nyo naman sa Facebook or di, sa na di ba may maraming nagsishare ng mga videos na daily motion po. So, since then, it has changed hands several times. So, meron din siya mga update at binago rin niya ang kanyang mga design sa kanyang homepage and videos po. Katulad ni YT, nag-upgrade din si daily motion kasi matagal na nga siya dito sa industry. At the time of writing, daily motion offers video source from elsewhere such as New C Sports Illustrated. Ayun, partner niya si Sports Illustrated kung mahilig kayo sa sports. And Genius. So, think less user-generated content and more videos made by brands. So, and other media outlets. Kumpara kay YT na maraming mga content creator, doon naman sa Daily Motion is more on, ano sila, doon sa, ang mga nag-upload doon is more on brands and mga media outlets po. So, ayan po ang ating number one, si Daily Motion. Meron din siyang available sa Play Store and sa iOS po. Or sa App Store, I mean. So, ayan po si Daily Motion. Share screen ko nga saglit lang. Mag-share screen tayo. Pero meron tayong... So, nandito tayo sa App Store, mga boss. So, ayan po si Daily Motion. The home for videos that matter. So, ayan po si Daily Motion. Ayan po ang kanyang sample ng kanyang... And... Chromecast din po siya. Cast videos on your TV. Watch later. So, halos kapareho rin sila ni YT. Library. Yan ang kanyang sample. Tapos, may ads din po siya. Katulad ni YT na pwedeng kumita ang mga content creator. Pero sabi ko nga na more on ano siya sa mga media outlets and other brand po na nagpro-promote ng kanilang mga products. So, proceed na po tayo sa ating number 2 na alternative kay YouTube. Ito po si... Ito, po, ito na po si Videos Hub. Formerly, ito po ang tinatawag nating Meta Cafe. So, Videos Hub isn't a big name in online video. In fact, the, its biggest claim to fame is that anyone attempting, attempting to visit Meta Cafe will now redirect to video sub homepage. So ayun, wala na nga si Meta Cafe at ito na po ang bagong-bago na si video sub. So unlike kay Daily Motion and YT or YouTube ay hindi po siya naka wala pa po siyang application based sa pag-check ko dito sa ating App Store. So parang homepage talaga siya or website na kailangan yung search sa inyong mga default browser o sa mga gusto niyong browser dyan. Meta Cafe was one of the oldest and the biggest online video platform around until it disappeared in August 2021. So last year lang po siya nag-ano si Meta Cafe. 
Now, videos have has risen from its ashes. So, ito na po ang kanyang nag-reincarnate pala si Meta Cafe into videos hub. And it hosts a similar mix of popular, funny, and seemingly random videos. Video Hub is certainly an alternative to YouTube, but it's no competition. So, ayun nga, hindi pa siya kaano kasi ka, kasi nga yung pangalan ng Meta Cafe ay nawala nung August 2021 at ito naman po, from scratch po ay nagbabalik naman po sila as Videos Hub. Therefore, we wouldn't recommend it unless you have a built-in aversion to YouTube or want to browse the categories on, want to browse categories on Videos Hub, including wheels and wings in hopes of finding a hidden gem. So, ayun po, proceed na po tayo sa ating number 3. So, ang number 3 naman natin is isa din tong popular at meron din siyang application available on iOS and App Store sa App Store and I mean sa Google Play Store. So, ito po si Vimeo or tama ba yung pagbiyano ko? pag pronounce so yan po si number 3. Vimeo which is literally the word of video with me. So, Vimeo nga. Tama nga ako. In the middle, it's a US-based website launched in 2004. Sim-sim lang sila ni YT din at ni Dailymotion. It's not really a direct competitor to YouTube. Having taken a more subtle approach, the honest on quality over quantity. Uh, so, Dito sa ating Vimeo, as napakano nila na dapat mas ano sila sa quality ng mga videos or should I say na pinifrefer nila yung mas taas na resolutions. Vimeo isn't a place to go if you want to see cats acting crazy or dogs running on the trend meals. They may be there if you look hard enough but Vimeo is more about classy short films. Ayun, so kung mahilig kayo sa mga short films dyan ay... Tamang-tama yan si Vimeo. Experimental music videos and snapshots of interesting people, interesting life. So, ayan po. So, ito po yung kanyang sample. Nakita nyo naman din dyan sa atin naka-share screen. So, meron siyang application. And again, meron din siyang Chromecast available din po siya. So, ayan po ang kanyang sample. Oh. So, ayan, nakita nyo naman. Na-follow yung nakalagay. Ayan, si Magic. Ito. Ganun. Para din siyang YTN. Si, ano lang sila? Magkasin. So, ang ating ito. number four is itong si DTube na parang copy-paste lang ni YouTube. DTube is a particularly interesting YouTube alternative because of the way its creator earn money from their uploads. While YouTube pays out hold Hard cash based on how many views a video racks up. DTube pays out in crypto. So, ayun sa mga cryptocurrency dyan, sa mga mahilig ng cryptocurrency, tulad ng mga Bitcoin or iba pa na cryptocurrency. Hence, the name of DTube, which stands for Decentralized Tube. So, ayun po siya. Dito kasi sa YT or sa YouTube ay cold cash or dollars yung ano, pinapadala through bank or dati meron pang remittance center katulad ng Western Union. Pero dito sa DTube naman, is similar na similar sila kay YT. Kita nyo naman dyan sa kanyang, ano, sa example ng, tinan natin kung meron siyang, ano, ha? meron siyang application. Check natin. Merong wala siyang DTube dito. Pero, if ever ay naka-open kayo ng website, ay pwedeng pwede naman. So, ipap-up na lang dyan ang kanyang screen ng kanyang D DTube or DTube. Kasi Pinoy. <laughs> ay, same sila halos ng homepage ni YT. Ang kaibahan nga nilang na, eh, sabi ko nga kanina, is nagpipay sila sa mga content creator in cryptocurrency po. And, compared to YT, is cash talaga. As for the content itself, DTube features a heavy mix of videos designed to inform or an entertain. There's a high number of crypto-based videos. So, ayan, crypto nga. Which is no surprise given the users it's likely to attract. However, if you dig deep enough, you'll also find politics, gaming, and recipes covered in the same way they will be on YouTube. So, katulad ng sila sa YT ng style, ibahan lang nila is yung pagbabayad nila sa kanilang mga content creator. So, proceed na po tayo sa ating number five. Number five, it's ito pong TED Talks. So, you have probably heard of TED Talks. So, alam naman natin, meron din yan sa mga ibang channels. And I'm sure na meron din yang application. So, check natin kung meron ba siyang application dito. Ito 
Kasi ang main talaga nila na ano is yung TED na ano it, which is ito for education purposes yung itong TED. Meron mga podcast din. Pero ito is TED Talk so ipapop up na lang diyan sa screen din ang kanyang design para makita nyo ang kanyang homepage. Kasi naka ano lang tayo naka mobile lang ang ating screen diyan. Hindi tayo naka ano naka desktop. So i-open siya. Probably heard of TED Talks but you may not necessarily known what it is and what it does. So in a nutshell, TED is an TED is not a for-profit organization committed to spreading ideas. The TED stands for Technology Entertainment. Sabi ko na kanina na for educational purposes and designed with a titular talks emerging from the conference first held in 1984. TED talks are short lectures covering a wide range of topics and you're bound to learn something from watching them, making TED Talks a more educational and informative alternative to YouTube. So the best things to do is to visit the homepage and find a talk on a subject that interests you. You'll then find yourselves disappearing down a rabbit hole of interesting content. So ayan, visit nyo lang ang kanyang homepage na TED Talks. Po siya mga boss. And find your gusto nyo na topic nila. So number six na po tayo. Number six is ito pong nine gag. So familiar na kayo sa nine gag kasi napakadaming videos niya na share sa Facebook. So nine gag po is meron siyang application. Ito po ang kanyang nine gag funny GIF meme and video. So ito pong si nine gag. Ayan meron tayong nakashare screen dyan. Nine gag, nine gag is a site pack of full viral videos whether they've already gone viral or just about to do so. And the freshness, funniest video presented vertically on the homepage in a similar vein to TikTok making 9GOG perfect for viewing your smartphone. So ayan, mas, ano sila, mas friendly sila pag naka-smartphone ka ang kanyang software nila. Especially when you can't sleep. Ayun. Ang katulog, ang katulog na puro ang kawa yung mga video sa 9GOG. Don't expect anything high bro here. There is silly videos designed to entertain rather than to educate. But we all need a little silliness in our lives from time to time, right? So ayan po ang number six natin na si Nine God. So ayan po, proceed na po tayo sa ating last but not the least, number seven. So ang number seven natin is the Internet Archive. So Internet Archive is as its name suggests an archive pack of full of kinds of content including videos. Navigating on the video tab opens up a vast collection of videos including old movies. Oy, meron pang mga old movies dito sa the Internet Archive. Kasi nga, from the word itself, archive. TV shows, short films, and social media clips, and a lot more besides. The collection of videos available in the Internet Archive is so vast that you should be sure to use the filters and search tools narrow down to the selection. So, check natin mga boss kung meron siyang ano dito. Meron siyang application, the Internet Archive. Punta lang kayo sa kanyang official homepage, ang the Internet Archive, para makita nyo. So, ipapap up natin ang kanyang Ano dyan? Homepage niya na design para makita nyo. So, ayan po ang ating seven na alternative ni YT or seven alternatives of YouTube watching online videos. That's all for this video mga boss. Thank you for watching J Black TV and this is J Black TV saying Matt, salat to all. Peace out. Bye-bye. See you on my next video.